middle school, elementary school. By the way, hit up YBN Cosmetics. Okay, what are you doing for this doing? Because this gloss, it feels so great. And my lips be like type, really like type dry. And as soon as I put this on this one, okay, but yeah, back to the bullying subject. Um, I was bullied all throughout school, like in general. Like I was bullied throughout um, elementary school, which is re very lame. I went, I went through bullying in elementary school because I went to a white school and I was mixed and I don't know. I think kids, you know, kids only react on what they're taught, you know? So I, I can't blame anybody for what, how I got treated being young in second, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, being bullied in elementary school, you know? Cause no, well, not fifth grade. I feel like when you're in them grades, you, you should like really like know like that, that type stuff is wrong. But like as a younger kid, I don't think them as individuals really understand like racism and that stuff because they only know what they're taught you know and so all them little white kids who I was really shitting on the whole time I was there because my dad keep me kept me um freakity freakity fresh like baby walked into school with who oh y'all remember when them valentines dropped y'all oh I used to have all the shoes like my dad used to keep me on motherfucking top and them little white kids used to bully me, and I, and I didn't know I was a bad, bad bitch, like, back in the day. Like, I, I would have been shitting on them for real if I knew now. I was getting bullied, and I wanted to kill myself. Here's the thing about people with all that shit. Really Killing yourself, if you ever feel like that you want to kill yourself... I'm just going to let you know now, that's not you. You know, that's not you wanting to do that. That is your body. Like, I don't know. I don't know if people really think about that stuff because we've all, I'm pretty sure we've all been in that position where we felt like we didn't want to be on this earth. Hey, Asia. Um, ooh, my hair is knotted up. Oh, 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 girl. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, we my attention span is so small, but we've been we've all been in that position, you know. And thinking about it, like when I'm how I am now, like I'm chill, I'm good, I'm not tweaking, I'm not doing nothing too extreme. I think about it, and I'm just like, I could never, ever, ever, actually like have the guts to kill myself it's not your body it's your mind and my friend goes to a real therapist and it's your head that sucks you yeah i know that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying it's your mind it's not it's not you you know so that's what i'm talking about like when you get into that state where you feel like oh i want to kill myself you just and it's, it's really hard to say this just because like you just really have to wake yourself up because at the end of the day, it's never you want to kill yourself. It's the fact that you don't want to be in the world, <laughs> in this world at this point. And that will always, 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 it will always eventually be a point in your life when you're like that. Because um, I'm not finna say that I've tried to kill myself, but... It's gotten to the point where it's been like, oh, I almost would have. But when you're in that zone and when you're in that state, you're not thinking, you know. And I, I don't, I could be one to talk about this subject all day, just because, you know, I've been there, done that, been through that. But when I'm thinking and when I when I sit back and I really like think I'm just like I can never ever bring it to myself to actually kill myself you could give me <laughs> like I can sit here and build a whole fuck sit here and carve a whole knife carve a whole knife just to kill myself 
It could take me five days to carve that knife. I would not care. I would carve that knife. But would I stab myself with it? No. No. I think I think about it very, very hard while I'm sharpening it and while I'm doing it. And I'm just like, yeah, this is it. This is it. Like, you know, this is going to be my last. Or da, 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 da. But w- will I stab myself? I couldn't. I just, I couldn't. And the only reason I say that is because I don't like blood. I don't like none of that gory stuff. I don't like, I don't like drugs. I don't like looking at drugs. I don't like watching Grey's Anatomy. I don't like seeing none of that stuff just because of the way that it makes me feel, you know? So if I feel like, ew, that's going to hurt, ew, that's going to, I'm not going to do it because I already feel what I know it's going to feel like and I don't want to feel that, so... Girl, I've been so close, so close to top, 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 pop. But would I? No, I would probably top, top, top. But when it gets to this part, I'm not doing that. I can't. But, but you know, people can't really can control them little thoughts and phases and whatever you're thinking, you know, because your mind does roams on its own. It does what it wants. It's, and you just have to. I don't know. I don't really know how to deal with depression and all that stuff because, baby, they, the doctors, all that shit, when kids are going through it, people are looking at us and they're just like, oh, maybe they're just like they're just teenagers, you know, they're just going through it, you know, like they're just figuring out da 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 da. I don't think me figuring out my life has anything to do with me thinking about killing myself. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but I don't know. I feel like people try to push men- mental health issues to the side when you're teenagers because it's like, oh, they're just a teenager, you know. But that's really, that's really where they fuck up at. Like, if you figure that shit out, first of all, it's not okay to self. You can self-diagnose. Next subject. Let's get the positive things. <laughs> I, I know. I'm just. I just, I just went to the doctor the other. I don't know. I feel like this is something that should be spoken on. Don't know. N- nobody speaks on it, you know. I just went to the doctor the other day and got a whole mental health check. And baby, I'm about to start taking therapy. All right, I just booked the first mission. Did uh-huh. you? Allie? Therapy, therapy, and therapy. I promise okay. that's probably gonna, gonna be mission. one of the most best things. It's so, it feels so good to get stuff off your chest. It feels so good to cry. It feels so good to let stuff out because after you do it and you can't cry no more. Yeah, if you have to play like two minutes longer, you get to beat the first one. It feels so good. It feels so relieving. <laughs> so I hate good. going to therapy. You see, and that's the thing. Some people don't like that. Some people don't like doing that. Some people, ha- people have their preferences, you know, but. Honestly, for me, I feel like that if I speak on the issues that I feel pressure about, it is relieving, you know, because when you're talking to a therapist, you're kind of talking to a wall, and I think that that is a good thing, you know, because you don't have somebody judging you. You don't have somebody telling you that you're right or you're wrong you don't have somebody no just have a wall a breathing wall (laughs) that you can talk to (laughs) pouring your heart out to the right person and getting things off your mind it's stressful yeah (laughs) yeah you're not lying it's stressful in the moment it's very stressful in the moment because you can't piece the words together or you don't know what to say or you don't know how to da 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 and da 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 and da 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 But I, I don't know. Once I speak on stuff, even if I don't get an answer, you know, just hearing stuff come out my mouth and just saying stuff, 
really like calms me, helps me. It, it, it makes me feel better. It's simple. Yes, yeah, positive rise, but you're right. You're right at my school. I'm working on getting doctors and other people to understand what teenagers are going through and how they need to stop blaming it on how we're growing up. That's why these adults now, their heads are so fucked up because there's fucking something wrong with them. Am I okay? Not stressful, damn. I mean, it's stress relieving. relieving. Yes, it is stress relieving. But at the same time, when it is at that time, I don't know. Because when I was talking to that doctor the other day, he was like, is there anything that you would like to talk about, say, that you don't know, and da, 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 da. And I was just looking, I was just like, I don't know what to tell this nigga because I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know how I'm feeling, you know. Whoops. He ain't keeping his hands above my ass cheeks. <laughs>